Is this the case? Will Tess Limo donate us a scary Morty? He could. He might. We'll see if it happens. If it does, we're going to review this guy in this video. Let's go through this. If anyone has me added on Pocket Mortys, you should donate me a scary Morty. Ah, uh, hell nah, fam. I only got one, homie squad fam. <laughs> If you donate it, I'll give it back once I'm done recording. Well, you would have to add me first, and it's only level 74, I think. Okay, what's your username? Promise to give it back, though? If I don't, I will be pissed. Yes, I will. Or will I, Teslimo? Maybe I'll just keep this Scary Morty. Who knows? You know what? A Scary Morty sounds good. What do you guys think? We got a Scary Morty! Thank you, Teslimo. I appreciate that. Guys, let's give some love to Teslimo in the comment section. Come on, give him some love. He decided to donate a Scary Morty that he knows he will never get back. I am never giving that back. I'm gonna just forget about it and pretend like it never happened. So guys, pretend like you never watched this video, but let's do a review on Scary Morty. He is only level 74, which is pretty fucking horrible to be honest. Let's see if we have any level up Mega Seeds. If we do, we're definitely going to use it on the Scary Morty. But I haven't done a review in such a long time, I kind of forgot how to do it. If this video is trash, we can blame it on that. We do have 10 level up Mega Seeds, and we do have a bunch of Attack Seeds. Do we want to use it on the Scary Morty for Tess Limo? If we do, I'm thinking about going around and trying to find one of my own, a Scary Morty of my own, so I can give it back to him. So I don't have to give him this amazing Morty, but let's do it, guys. Let's put all of these seeds on him. I will be back once I'm done doing it. So let's check out his stats real quick. So 245 HP, 160 attack, 157 defense, and 169 speed. Remember that. Soon it's going to be a lot higher. Okay, guys, everyone tell me, should I give it back to Tess Limo or should I keep it for myself? I'm not really breaking any laws if I were to do either. So I might just keep it. We'll see, though. So I grew his attack a lot. It's almost at 250. Let's compare that to someone else's attack. Let's compare it to our Detox Morty because he's very good. Our Detox Morty is a very good Morty that I've been leveling up for a while. And he has 283. That just kind of goes to show, if you use Mega Seeds of any sort in multiplayer, it's going to be a lot less powerful than leveling them up naturally through battles and other Wild Mortys. Let's battle the man, the myth, the legend, Tess Limo. You gonna battle me? Really hope you do. There we go. Finally, after about three seconds that it didn't show on camera, he accepted the battle. But let's test out this Scary Morty and see how effective he is. So we got him up to level 84, but I still don't think he's going to be very effective, honestly. We gave him 40 seeds in total. Okay, 38 seeds in total. Do you know how long it takes to get 38 seeds in this game? If you don't, then it takes hours upon hours of luck opening loot boxes buying literally spending money on this shit game oh i didn't say that i'm sorry spending money on this game but it takes so much time and it really doesn't give you the results that i think it should if you're willing to spend money on this game you should get some better results for the money you're paying but that's just my opinion. I guess they want to keep it fair so whoever levels up their mortys the most whoever spends the most time on this game not money but time will have the best mortys and i think that's the way to go so yeah that scary morty did do pretty well right there so scary morty's attacks the most effective ones are scratching post which is going to be very effective against paper types then he has a regenerate attack which gives him health after hitting the enemy let's try him out against a level 78 exoskeleton morty with around the same amount of hp so I'm wondering how much health he can regenerate. Let's use it now. Most likely he's going to hit us. He didn't hit us, so that was kind of a waste of an attack. I really thought he was going to. We regained 0 HP there. He did a, quite a bit of damage, but I thought he was going to do more, honestly. Now it's time for the regenerate attack. And we, re we regen 34 HP of health. That's actually really good. That's a decent amount of health. If we do that two times... That's going to be one extra attack where the enemy won't kill us, which I'm pretty sure that's going to happen. And we can we can finish this guy off with either one more regenerate attack or we can just finish him off 
with the scratching post, which we decide to do. If he was just level 74, we wouldn't have taken out this exoskeleton Morty. The only reason he's doing alright right now, even though they're not the greatest items in the game, it does alter the game enough and your Morty enough where it will be a lot more powerful than if it was just level 74 where you caught him out in the wild. But still, the if you want to be really effective, level up your Mortys by facing other trainers. That's the way to go. This Morty, I can definitely see myself using him. His, his looks are amazing. I've never really seen a Morty like this before. I, I really like how his skin is like melting off his face almost. But besides that, it's just, it's a ripoff from, who is it, Freddy? Freddy Krueger. If you guys don't know who that is, then I don't know what you're doing. I'll probably put them in the thumbnail because, you know, maybe they'll get a lot of views. The regenerate attack didn't do what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to kill him there. It did not. Sadly, we're going to run away from this battle. 4 HP left with the Cronenberg Morty. If he had a better Morty, if he had a level 100 Morty, no way would this scary Morty have done anything. What the fuck? Wait. What happened? Why am I still in a cloud? What the fuck? Have you ever seen this before? <laughs> this is hilarious. Let's go see if we can heal up or if we can just keep running around as a cloud. I don't really know what it said. It said something right as I ended the game. I don't know what that was. Is that why we're a cloud now? Can we battle people as a cloud? We can battle people as a cloud. Now we can just run around. What the hell? What is this game doing? I don't know. Can we click on- I'm assuming we can click on Wild Mortys if we can click to battle people. People are like, what the fuck is- wait, what? What is happening? I don't know if people can see me as this cloud or if people see me as my regular self, but that guy is following me around. Then again, I do get followed around regardless if I'm a cloud, a glitchy cloud, or if I'm just myself. This guy has the Enforcer Loco Morty and Octo Morty. These would take a fuckload of time to get. I don't know if he bought them or what, but still, that's pretty crazy. I can't really get myself into another battle. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you want me to review any other Mortys, please tell me what Morty you want me to review. But let me give you my final thoughts before I end this video. Scary Morty, he's another average Morty. He's nothing too special. If you like any Morty, use them for their looks. But this Morty, I would honestly say is below average. His regenerate attack could be very effective if you level him up enough. But if he's just getting three hits and dying, or even two hits and dying, you can't really use that regenerate attack effectively. So I would say level him up. Get him up as high of a level as you can by battling other trainers. Once you're done doing that then he should be usable. I think it's a Morty with potential. Other than that, I'm going to just end this episode. Tell me what you think about this guy. I will see you later, guys. Bye-bye.